Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this paper cut effect on PowerPoint 2013. I'm Sadhna Sadiq and I'm using PowerPoint 2013. So let's get started. First I'm going to get an image. To get an image, I'll go to Insert, then I'll go to Pictures, and then I'll double click on my picture so that the picture is on my slide. Done. Then what I will do is just hit it in the corner and then stretch it so that it fits the screen. Done. So we have our picture entirely fitted into our screen. Now we will type something but before that we need to create a shape. I'll go to insert then I'll go to shapes and pick this rectangle over here and just drag it like that. Done. Then what I will do is go to shape outline and no outline. Then I'll go to shape fill and then make it white. Done. Then what I will do is go to align and then I'll click on align center and align middle. So do that so that it aligns perfectly in the middle. For the next step I'll have to type something. So I'll go to insert, I'll go to word art and click on this. I'll have a text box over here so I'll type something. Create awesome slides. All right. Create awesome slides. All right. So this will be our text. What I will do next is drag over all of it and go to home and change the font to dagger square maybe or maybe Hevitas which serves fine. All right. Hevitas sounds fine. So I'm going to keep it that way. Now for the next step what I will do is just drag over all of the text. I'll go to text fill colors and then I'll go to eyedropper tool which is available in PowerPoint 2013 and I'll drag over the background and choose this color and it looks like it's see-through. Done. Next I'll drag over all of it and click on S to get rid of the shadows and I'll have something like that. For the next step I'll stretch it like that. Done. Alright. And what I will do next is click on the background image. I've clicked on the background image then press Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it just like that and then put it right on top of it right on top of the previous image just like that then what we need to do is go to format go to crop and then crop it like that I need to crop it in this particular place just like this and then click on it again to have it crop. Now you will notice nothing but if I click on it and pull it right over here you can see that this is a shape, a cropped shape. Now you will see what I'm going to do with it. So next part is I'm going to click on the background image then press ctrl D to duplicate it again like that then I'll put it right up of it again <laughs> then what I will do is crop it. In the next step I'll crop it like this the top part only. Then I'll click on this to get it cropped. So I have cropped. For the next step I need to use some effects but before that I'm going to show you something. I'm going to go to a new slide and you don't need to follow me in this step. I'm going to tell you when to start again. I'm going to create a blank slide and I'm going to get these two right over here. I'm going to copy them and paste them over here. Here you can see two cropped images. What you need to do is click on the bottom image then go to shape effects, shadow and create a shadow. Then what I will do is go to this shape and go to shape effects and use a soft edge. Alright, now we have clear. Now I will do the same thing in the previous slide. So what I will do is go to the previous slide and click on the bottom image just like that. Then I will go to shape effects and go to shadows and click on the shadow. Now you can see the shadow over here. Clearly, I'll click on this formation button and a window will pop up like that. And what I will do is go to shadows in this banner and I'll decrease the transparency and increase the di distance, black shape, and I'll blur it out just like that. So it gives a depth. And then what you see is the shadow doesn't go across this because I have a shape right over here which is covering this part. Now, what I will do is grab a hold of this shape and I'll go to soft edges and presets make it two and a half points 
just like that or maybe increase the bit like that 12 points maybe 15 points now as you can see it looks like over here if I zoom in a bit it looks like a paper cut right over here what I simply did was I created a, sh a shape like this and a shadowy image like this one then what I did is just put it right on top of it just like that and that created the illusion that this paper is looking like it's cut I'll do the same thing again for your convenience alright I'll do this part now I'll click on the background image press ctrl D to duplicate it just like that and put it right on top of it then what I'll do is go to format crop and crop it just like that just this part and hit in this option to make it cropped so I have this part then what I will do is go to soft edges and increase the size just like that and now it looks like it's paper cut it now as you can see there's a bit of problem that I can see through this part so what I will do is click on this thing and crop it again so that I don't see that part just like that done and we are done almost done with our paper cut effect so this is working just fine now you can experiment with it as much as you like so I've shown you the basic way you can create this paper cut effect now if you want to go a bit further you can create the other side as well which I'm going to do now so I've shown you how to create the paper cut effect now I'm going to go a bit fast to complete this tutorial so that's how you create the paper cut effect on PowerPoint thanks for watching